Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It is a Target haul, but it's gonna be a good mix between small home decor items that I love and I use around my house year round, but on a budget as well as just some everyday cute outfits. This cardigan, which I wear all the time, a sweater dress, which would be perfect for Thanksgiving. So yeah, it's just kind of like a fun mix of things. It's probably gonna be a shorter video because it is November 1st, it's a Monday, and I feel like I have so much to do today. I typically post every single Sunday night, but it was Halloween yesterday and I am just a little bit behind. So I'm getting caught up. I'm really excited for this haul. It's just a fun mix of things that I love from Target and I love to mix in some home decor. So I thought this would be the perfect video. If you guys like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I try to post every single week, typically on Sunday nights. And then give my Instagram a follow as well because I share daily deals over there, affordable finds. So I'd love to have you follow me over there as well. And then as always, comment down below what you would like to see for future hauls because I'm definitely reading your comments. I love your opinion and I I want to know what you guys want to see so let's get started okay so up first is this olive branch tree from target <laughs> um it's actually not that big it just looks much bigger on here but it's got this really nice vase this is a faux olive branch tree and it's truly so versatile you can use this in so many parts of the house but it's also just made really well um, and these are sometimes hard to find, but last I looked, they were back in stock on Target's website, which is amazing because I know for the longest time they were sold out. But I actually like to keep mine up on my mantle as decor, but you can also use this in so many other areas of the house. I just looked so I could tell you guys, but it is actually only 30 inches tall. I know it looks really big here, um, but it is just made so well. And like I said, it's super versatile. It's got faux soil in there um, and the pot is made really well, the vase. Um, it is actually by Threshold by Studio McGee, which I feel like Studio McGee just knows what they're doing when it comes to home decor and it's under $40. I think it might even be $30. So this is just a great versatile piece, like I said, and you can use this year round. Like this is not season dependent. Up next is this Acacia wood tray. I have two of these. That's how much I like them. They are $30 and the wood on them is just gorgeous. This is 16 inches around um, and then it's got this brass color detail which I do like to add gold accents throughout my home. I just think they add a nice beautiful touch. This is by Hearth and Home so it's the Magnolia line which they always have the cutest farm style home decor. I Like I said I own two of these so I have one that I style on the center of my kitchen island and throughout the seasons I like to change it up so I just had a fall decor going on in the middle with my candle um, and soon it'll be Christmas time so I'll be mixing it up for that and I also have my kitchen um, coffee maker on my other one so it fits right on here and I will link to my exact white coffee maker because I love it it's a traditional coffee maker but it's all white and it just looks so good in my white kitchen and it actually fits on one of these trays and then I'm able to put a little bit of decor around it as well you could put like a coffee mug and things like that so yeah, this is just a great purchase and they're great, super versatile. You could put it on a kitchen table and decorate that way, a coffee table as well. Um, so yeah, I loved it so much. I bought two and it's only $30. Okay, so up next is this gold vase. This is beautiful. It's kind of like a brassy gold, which it matches the acacia wood tray perfectly. And that is typically how I style it. I have this set on top of the acacia wood tray on my kitchen island and then I add some artificial stems in it. I actually have some from Target so I'll grab those to show those to you. But this is about 12 inches tall so it's not super high. It's like the perfect height. Uh, you could use it on built-ins, on your mantle and I again like to add some stems to it to add some height but it is just beautiful. It's a round vase and then it's a little bit slimmer at the top. I believe it said it's about five inches around and I want to say this is about 20 to 25 dollars. I'm thinking it's 20 $25, but this is just a great home accent piece as well and I'm gonna go grab those floral stems that I've been sticking in here So these are the floral stems that I used for fall this year and I actually mixed a few these are like magnolia leaves Obviously, they're all faux and they're all from Target They're about five dollars each and then I found these creamy off-white leaves I just thought they went well together because these by themselves It was just a little bit too much brown and my kitchen's very light and bright So I wanted to brighten it up a little bit and then I added them to that vase. So they were a little bit long for the vase. So I just bent them. You could totally use pliers, but I personally like to bend them because then if I decide to move them to a new spot in my house, I didn't sacrifice the length, if that makes sense. 
So let me grab the vase and I'll show you guys how it looks. Hiding in the plants over here. So this is how it looks in this vase. I love this together. I think these colors look so pretty. Um, and again, these are all about $5. They typically have a few in store, but I'll link them down below as well. So if you're trying to achieve this exact look, I just think it's really pretty for fall. And then again, you could add some like wintry looking stems in there as well for the winter. Um, so yeah, I'll link this one. Okay, so up first is this chunky knit cardigan. I did have to move my mirror. I just kind of tossed this back there um, because the lighting isn't great this time of day, but I have stuff going on this afternoon, so we're filming right now. And my older two are not napping, so you might hear them playing in the background. Um, but this chunky knit cardigan, I have worn this so many times already. I actually had it for like a good two months, but it is just made so well. It's incredible for the price. One of my favorite Target fall purchases for sure. I love the drop shoulder. It just gives it a relaxed look. It's an open front cardigan and it is cropped, which I also think it's just a little bit different than your typical cardigan. The balloon sleeve as well is a really fun detail. This is actually called the color tan, um, but it's totally a brown. You can kind of see there a little bit more of the color. It's got some like mixture in there of colors. I would definitely go true to size on this. It does come in other colors as well. But I just styled it real casually today. I actually was gonna wear it with one of my favorite Target tanks, but unfortunately it's in the wash right now and I did not have time to flip my laundry. So I have it on with an Abercrombie bodysuit, which I wear this a lot. It actually looks just like a basic tank, but it's a really good bodysuit to wear under outfits like this so that you don't get that bunching. And then these are Abercrombie skinny jeans, which I will link and I have true to size as well. And then these are some of my favorite Target booties. They are well-priced, extremely comfortable. Let me see if you guys can get a better look. There we go. Um, they're just like the perfect beige tan color. The height is great. The pointed toe is super on trend and they have that memory foam in them, which makes them extremely comfortable. I went true to size on those and I would definitely recommend true to size, but this cardigan, you guys could wear this so many different ways. So if you're a teacher in the office, if you get chilly in the office, you could throw this on. Um, and then if you guys do a little bit more of like a casual Thanksgiving, I think this would be such a good Thanksgiving outfit as well. You could dress it up with like a turtleneck underneath or something a little bit more dressy, but this is definitely a great Target purchase. Up next is this sweater dress, which I love, and this is perfect for Thanksgiving. I had been wanting to get my hands on this. The lighting, the sunlight is like really coming in right now, so I'm trying to show you guys. There you go. It's just got beautiful knit detail, and I love the sleeves on it. This is the cream color, but it does come in another color as well. I actually sized down on this, and I am glad that I did because it fits me perfectly. It's not too short on me. I have longer legs. I'm 5'8". I love the fit of this. It's so, so soft. And like I said, I think this would be perfect for Thanksgiving. I think if you had a little bump, you guys, all of you pregnant girls could totally rock this. Maybe get true to size instead of sizing down like I did, but I love this. Um, I will say I had to put on nude undergarments, so it's not complete. It's not like see-through, see-through, but it's that fabric where you would see like a color maybe. So just do nude. And I'll actually link my two favorite nude undergarments, my favorite nude bra, and my favorite nude underwear. That would be perfect for underneath this, but I love this. The length is so good, so buttery, soft, and I know people always say that, but I promise you it's so, so soft. You will love it. And then I just styled it with some Target boots. These are some of my favorite Target boots. I go true to size on these. They're the scrunch, um, high knee, or knee high scrunch boots, and they just pair perfectly with it. They're so good. For Thanksgiving, I'm gonna give you guys a better look at these. So they're knee high. The heel is close to three inches, I would say between two to three inches, but definitely worth the price. They have held up really well for me and they would look cute with jeans as well for like a Thanksgiving day outfit. Um, so I'll link those, but yeah, this sweater dress, 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, lastly is this rust color rib knit dress, which I have shared this multiple times over on my Instagram. So if you follow me over there, I shared this a couple of different ways to style it because it is that good and it is so affordable. It's only $20. It does come in other colors, but this rust color is absolutely perfect for fall and Thanksgiving. And I actually wanted to style it here a little bit differently. So these are my favorite Vince Camuto knee high boots. They're a little bit of a splurge, but I have worn them so much. So I'll talk about sizing and everything here in a minute, but this midi dress, so it's a rib knit midi dress and it's definitely got good length on it. So it goes past my knees and I am 5'8", but it's bump friendly again. So both dresses today are bump friendly. And the other thing I love about it is that it's got so much stretch that it's just comfy. Like if I'm going to eat a full meal at Thanksgiving, 
there's room to go. I actually sized down to an extra small again on this one, and I would recommend that because it just has a lot of extra room. It is sleeveless, so you're gonna wanna like style something over top of it unless you live somewhere really warm in the fall. Um, so today I styled it with my Old Navy denim jacket, which I recommend sizing up one on this if you want a little bit of an oversized look. I actually have true to size, and it's good, but I wish that, I always wish that I had sized up one, but it's the perfect denim jacket, um, but this is Old Navy. I've also styled it with a black faux leather jacket over on my Instagram, which I don't have right now because someone borrowed it recently, but that looked so cute with this look. So the scrunch knee boots, you could totally do one of these pair of booties as well. Real quickly, I wanted to show it to you guys without the jacket on so you could kind of see how the dress looks without the jacket. So it is sleeveless, like I said, it's kind of like a tiny scoop neck, but nothing too low or revealing. And it's just like a straight midi length dress and it's perfect for layering this fall. Someone woke up and joined me. So I'm going to quickly show you guys this last one because I wanted to show you one more thing. Um, so this is a boxy tee from Target and you can see it works well <laughs> with baby holding. Um, it's I actually sized up to a medium and I got the color brown. You like it? Um, but this is just a great everyday tee. So like this is an outfit I would wear every day. I have it on with straight leg jeans and it doesn't look as cute right now because I've got a baby on my hip. Um, but I actually usually do a front tuck with it, but today I decided to tuck it all the way in just to see how I liked it. Um, like I said, I think it's $10 maybe and I have the color brown and it's just a great everyday tee and we have a toddler crawling around down here. So this haul got taken over quickly by my kids. Um, so I'm gonna end it here because I don't think I'll be able to say much else but if you are looking for a good everyday tee i would recommend sizing up one if you want it a little bit on the bigger side and then i styled it with these old navy straight leg jeans and then i'll link similar shoes because these are no longer available but yes this is the last one okay you guys that's all for today's haul i got cut a little bit short by babies waking up um but i felt like i was shopping at target because that was like home decor dresses yeah a little bit of shoes um so please like and subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my videos <laughs> they are the kids are wanting me um and comment down below of what you guys want to see next and don't forget to follow me over on instagram thanks guys see you next time